This might be the next day when I'm saying this, so this isn't part of the daily vlog, but nonetheless, I need to let you guys know right now that The Sounds of Syndication Volume 2 is available on iTunes. If you got the first one, it got such an amazing response. We made it to like number one in the charts and all that sort of stuff. Like It did really, really well. And the second one is out now. It's an amazing mix of music. There's actually a Skrillex remix, which is in there. So the fact that we managed to get hold of an indie artist who managed to do a Skrillex remix is just nuts. A lot of people are asking when it's going to be out on iTunes, so it is officially out on iTunes iTunes right now if you search for Sounds of Syndication you'll find it you can enjoy it and wob your tits off so go and get Sounds of Syndication volume 2 right now tweet at me and I can thank your face ah the one morning I get up on time the fog is rolling in and I believe my dad has arrived so we're we'll going to say hello to his face and as proof there you have it I got out of bed before 12 therefore it is still the morning Dad's here, gonna take care of him. Instant hot water is amazing. Oh shit. What is he doing? I struggle to get my Audi TT down there, let alone this guy reversing down it right now. In a camper van. What are you doing? That was close. That was close. That was close to that one. Is it really that heavy? Oh god, no. Wait, go on. R roll it to me. Cool. The beer is now back in stock. There's method to the madness in this house. Oh, I just realized I don't have jelly in my hair. I'm gonna hopefully go and get it cut today at somewhere I usually don't get it cut. Tony and Guy in Manchester. I'm gonna try and see if they've got appointments available. But we're gonna finally get this back and running because I've been back for like maybe a month now in the UK, if, if that. Uh, but I'm back and because Christmas is coming up, Halloween's coming up, all that sort of stuff, I'll be throwing parties in my house. So we need the beer taps to have beer in it because right now they're just spitting dust. Well, this is right. But this is wrong, so I don't know who these belong to because I cannot see how they are in any sense, shape or form mine. So no, but welcome to the probably most mysterious choice of DCs I ever made in my life. Are you ready? Are you sure you're ready? Introducing the worst maybe decision I ever made. Yeah. But you know what? I'm gonna wear them today. Doing a little bit of reading about brains and sleep and stuff like that. It's actually a really good book, this. I'm really enjoying it. I'm only 22 pages in and how many have I got to go? Uh, 140. All right, so we're good. But either way, these shoes are ridiculously tight. I can feel my ankles swelling because these are a size seven and a half and I'm a UK nine, so these are really uncomfortable. But I only wanted to wear them for today, so we'll see how things go. And I want to try and get a haircut. Swift only uh, 15 minutes into my dad refilling the beer, he broke the beer tap. So he's now um, hoping it fixes over time. My car looks well ninjurous. Look at it. So beautiful. I still say to this day, anyone gives shit to an Audi TT is drunk. It used to be a hairdresser's car, it used to be a woman's car, now it's an everyone's badass looking Batmobile car. Proper moist and misty outside today. Very moist. There is indeed two unicorns in the field today. They were actually like right here earlier, but unfortunately we've missed them. And look at all the water molecules lingering on my trees. Hopefully my dad hurries up because I want to go. You can't say anything about anyone's shoes today. Mine might be fabulous, but yours are outrageous. Come on. Can I just complain right now? Why are they not Halloween themed gingerbread men? Management. I want Halloween themed gingerbread men or I'm not coming back here. Right, I'm, I'll tell the boss. Right, I'm going. <laughs> Until they're done, I'm not coming back. Wait, woo, sir. Oh, no more cracks. You're looking good. Knocked in my pocket. Damn, 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 Kenneth. Damn, Kenneth, look at you. Damn, you're looking. You're gonna be there in time. You're looking fine. Well, you reckon it's gonna take more than half an hour to get to Manchester? Park up, yeah. She. After being successfully late, we finally made it to Tony and Guy, getting my hair cut, and I actually also brought my dad. He's in the background there, so we're getting his head like massaged and washed right now. So. I didn't, I didn't go to my usual spot to get it cut because I was just like, screw it, I want a day of adventure, I'm going to Tony and Guy and getting it cut. So this is basically the before. And so afterwards, how are you liking the haircut? Which is the you best like? one. Which is the best I think one. you, because mine went in well short. In, in colour, mate. Listen, it's I, all about the colour. I didn't want to show you up and ask no, for listen, it to mate, get it's dead. all about the colour. This is called colour. That's called monochrome. Oh, cool as fuck. Ken Cassell hair. Yeah, she cut the hair. She like, she went right in on the side. Dead, 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 dead short. I was like, oh my God, that's fucking petrifying. But she already cut it short. So I was like, oh, you got to keep on going. So we'll see if I put some gel in it, if it comes out all right. But it looks all right. You know, I like it from a distance. Go up close, I'll probably be critiquing of anything. So it is what it is. However, I think I've got the best shoes all day. Just saying. 
Even that's a competition, even that's a questionable. Even that's well better. Even that's questionable. Look at those bad boys! Even that's questionable. Look at those bad boys! Okay. Got yellow, but at least it's inside. Ooh, kill him! Ooh! Kill him! Before we went out, my dad broke this. Let's see if it works now. Ta da! It does work! There you go. <sighs> well, in disappointing news, we managed to get it working, but then my dad checked the barrels. We just got the barrels today for like the first time, and we checked the barrels, and my dad was like, wait, this goes out a date on the 10th, on the 8th of December, which means I've got like November, October, November, December, and like a month and like 10 days from now to be able to drink it. I was like, we can't drink that much alcohol in that amount of time. Then we checked the ones downstairs, and the ones downstairs go, off, go out a date in two days. So it's like, sorry, but I'm incapable of drinking 300 pints of alcohol in two days. So unfortunately, no beer in the house. I cry every time. Oh, and what a beautifully miserable wet day it is in England. There is wet leaves everywhere. That might as well be fucking ice. They're as slippy as tits. This was the best decision ever. I accidentally ordered another round of beers there. And my dad was leaving with his bike, lights on, helmet, coat, everything. And now there's another beer they're staying. Tom, this was quite a great success. I can't drink <laughs> no, you can't, you can't. After a night of chilling out with Ken and Tony, we then gained Thomas to join the group. Uh, also, minus Ken and Tony. I mean, Tom. Tom's probably like the only person in the entire group who understands vlogging. Do you understand it well? I get what you do. He still hates it. <laughs> but it is what it is. We're going to the pub, joining in with the homies, and then hopefully, hopefully, Going down to Manchester? No, we're not. Fuck yourself. Now, I kind of forgot to vlog the rest of the night and the way it panned out was like this. Went to the pub, completely got drunk, which is not good, it's not smart and it's not clever, but I've not actually been like, when you see me go to all these parties and all these events and stuff, I usually drink, so you kind of drink and you're in moderation drinking in a sense, so you're used to the alcohol, but I, I had loads to drink that night. I was drinking Peroni, which is like a strong drink and considered in the UK. And I didn't eat any food. So unfortunately, it kind of hit me like a brick wall. So the next day, today, I couldn't remember pretty much anything. Apparently, we got in a taxi to go down to Manchester. I fell asleep in the taxi on the way down there to go meet up with these people. Um, on the way down there, I fell asleep. When we got to Manchester, Tom said, where are we going? And I said, let's just go home. So we went all the way to Manchester, which cost us loads of money and loads of time went all the way to manchester fell asleep woke up said let's go back came back we then ordered, ordered domino's pizza i passed out in my bed and then i woke up the next day like where the hell am i and why is there a full domino's pizza by the side that i've not even touched so that was pretty much my night i didn't vlog any of it oh something that i did do that i do remember before i was too drunk um i bumped into a friend at the pub and they were telling me about like this lad in, uh, this guy he knows his lad is a big fan so i ended up walking around to his house going saying hello like just a five minute walk up the road went and said hello and all that sort of stuff so it was a pretty crazy night to be honest um from far as what i've pieced together it was good fun and um that's that's pretty much it i'm sorry i just didn't vlog it so pretty hungover today i did get the fresh haircut i did show you that in in the vlog but i'm very tired i'm gonna go order some chinese food now and i'm gonna go to bed so yeah it's like four o'clock in the afternoon so it is what it is but thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed the first part of it like i need to vlog the day more because these days where i'm doing stuff i'm getting distracted with the stuff that i'm doing so i'm not actually vlogging it so yeah it's like kind of i'm being in the moment and not recording the moment which is not negotiable that's my job so i'll catch you guys tomorrow for the next day of vlogs so until then thanks for watching and adios muchachos